Hi guys, I thought I'd just jump on and show you what I've been doing with recycling and upcycling these Tetra Packs. They make really, really good embellishments, I think, because they've got a super matte, um, like silver inside, which is like a plastic. And they are recycling these now in New Zealand in certain cafes, but they are quite hard to recycle because we don't have a proper recycling system in New Zealand yet like they do in Australia and other parts of the world. But I was thinking of um, I could use them in my journals. Um, and, you know, it's, it's going to save me buying any silver cardstock, um, which is cool. So I like that idea. So I thought I'd show you what I have been doing with it and how it works and some tips and tricks for you. Um, and yeah, so the first thing you're going to need is some scissors. Now those are my old, old, old dressmaking scissors. Um, so they, I only use them for cutting paper now. Um, but you could you, you use your use fairly strong scissors or some utility scissors um, would be really really good. Um, now just uh, just a tip, I did have to get some off a friend of mine to start this off because I'd recycled all my packets and didn't have all my cartons and didn't have any to hand, and they hadn't been rinsed properly. And man, they stunk, and I ended up having to chuck them out. So even if you think you've rinsed these things, they um, they really stink if you've left even the tiniest bit in. So I do recommend as soon as you want to keep one, definitely rinse it out, flatten it out, and so you can dry it out like that. Yeah, so you flat, just take these flats off, flatten it, open it up to let the air out, let the air escape. And I'll put the lid back on because I haven't actually rinsed this out properly. And you'd normally do this in, under the sink, obviously, because you don't want to, everything to go everywhere. And you're going to cut that end off and then open it up. Cut, cut both ends off, I should say. And then open it up like this and then give it a really good wash. Um, you can rinse it under the tap. Um, don't get it super wet on the edges because it'll take ages to dry. And then just give it a really good wipe with a cloth. Um, and then just leave it to dry in your dish rack and then once it's nice and dry it will be ready to use. So that's that part and then I'll just show you some samples of what I have been doing with it. So it's a nice thick um, sort of card which is really good for embossing um, but you do have the problem that it is a shiny sort of surface um, so when you want to adhere it to something you're going to have to think about what um, glue you use or what adhesive you're going to be using um, and I found the art glitter glue to be really really good um, I have just got some Arlene's tacky glue I'm not sure about that one yet I haven't done too much experimenting with this one um, but my go-to is always the um, art glitter glue um, you could also use uh, PVA or wood glue um, and that, that would work just as well. You've just got to play around with your substrates um, that you're gluing onto and see how well it works for you. The other thing you can do is um, that you can peel it. So just cut some. You could peel it if you didn't want it that thick. Um, depending on your project, you could just peel the top layer off. And then you've actually got a thin layer. You might want to be putting that on top of something else first or um, just using it as is. It works quite well. Um, and then you've got this part to play with as well. And I have done that. I'll show you. So I've made this frame. Um, this is an old Stampin' Up! die. It's no longer, um, you can't get it anymore. Um, but any frame die would work and I've just did that without the without the backing and then I went ahead and used the backing um, for another with another embossing folder and it got this cool um, bit of oh no tile light that's the silver part actually it was the middle out of that that's what it was it was the middle out of that and then where's my piece where I had just the it's gone, is it? Yeah, no, this is the piece that I used um, just for the just the backing, and I just put that in the embossing machine um, and 
um, embossed it and then I've put some metallic wax on and I'll put all the links to anything I use in the bottom just so that you can know exactly what it is because sometimes I forget what I'm, what it's called while I, even while I'm looking at it while I'm videoing. This one I've just used a, um, a stitched rectangle and then used another stitched rectangle in the middle to cut out another frame and then I think I used the middle of that for something else. I can't remember. But anyway, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll show you exactly how I did do it and just show you that it does really work really well. So I think I'll do this oval one and I'm just going to cut and I'm not going to worry. Oh, maybe I'll do it this. I was going to say I'm not going to worry if it goes over the folds because I'm going to emboss it and I'm not worried that it's not going to be perfect. This is going to go in my junk journals. I'm not making super um, super fussy things anymore in my life. I am moving on and getting on with creating and I'm not worrying about whether it's perfect or not. So I'm going to go over that line. It doesn't matter. So with this um, die, this particular die by Stamping Up, no wonder it retired because it came out, I think, just before Tim Holtz brought out his fabulous die, which does um, the cutting and the embossing at the same time. So I'll just run that through my Big Shot. Now I have got the old one with the old plates. So you can use what you've got. That's what I always say, you can use what you've got. You don't have to have the latest thing all the time. So there we go. Although I do wish I had that Tim Holtz um, little frame die because it's awesome um, and you don't have to worry about faffing about like this and getting it all like this but this is a really beautiful frame um, die if you do see it second hand I do really like it it's just a little bit of a hassle getting it lined up and I never get it perfect but I don't care doesn't matter so I'm going to run that through, and I need that one, I think. So I'm just going to run it through, I need it with that, and one plate, I think. doesn't it? Alright so now I've got my frame it's super beautiful just as it is with um, the, the backing remember that backing is going to be a bit a bit of a shiny surface because it's got a plastic coating but it, it, it glues down really well with the right adhesive like I say so then I'll put that away and you've got an oval here that you can use on another piece as it is or emboss it or something and then we've got the frame pretty cool hey so I thought I might show you how I've used them because and how cool they look well I'm not sure you how I've used them but use them so that we can I could they can show you how cool they look and I will use these um, Tim Holtz found relatives cards and I thought I might use that one for that. And maybe that one for her. Um, 
always takes me a little bit of time to make up my mind what I'm going to use. But I think that is the best one over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going it with this one today. Just got to make sure that the top of that, I don't like it, the top of it shows up. A gap or goes over a hat, so that's cool. I'm gonna use that one. So I am just gonna snip off the bottom. And I need to just bring that over like that. And for him, he's gonna go like this. Now this one's got the paper backing, so it's going to be a lot easier to adhere. Snip that off. Careful. Get rid of these. Now I'm just going to use my uh, got a glue that I've got on this um, icing bottle because I couldn't get any of the um, the little. Actually, I might do it on to that. I couldn't get any of the little art glue to glue um, ones with the little tops at the time I bought my big bottle, so I just keep reusing this. Still can put a pin in it. Uh, glitter glue is amazing because it dries clear and matte so if you you know have a little squidgy it doesn't really matter and I can just wipe it off with a bit of cloth <laughs> and now I can choose where I want to put him in my journal Could have also used tape for this. It's up to you what you use. You've just got to be aware that when you're working with plastic, um, you got to think about what it's going on to. But like I say, this is um, the cardboard part. Now with here, I think I am going to tape that into place before I glue because I really, really want to um, make sure I haven't got the gap in the top. So I've just got a piece of tape lining it up. Beautiful. Tape that first before I glue. I just find um, you don't go through as much glue when you're using this liquid uh, glitter glue either. Um, and because you're only buying a bottle every now and again, it's less um, plastic because there's no point talking about upcycling and recycling junk when you've got to use a ton of glue and actually going away from glue sticks altogether now um, because they just, you know, I just go through so much glue that I end up with all these plastic tubes and to be honest glue stick doesn't really work for me you know you can come back and rip it off later um, rip off the piece later and you don't even know so that's anyway I'm sidetracking but this is um, turning out quite well I like that I like that so that's one option and I can actually probably just put it straight into my journal right now so you can see what it looks like. Let's find a place. Let's find a place. Oh, actually this would look good right there. Right there. Beautiful, eh? 
I might just put that down right there and I'll just leave um, the edge the edge unglued so that if I want to put anything down there later I can put that I can put it later but I think that the colors work really well like this blue and the greenish blue with the silver as it is just plain left untouched super simple and just leave those edges um, not glued so that I can slip something under the edge later if I want to. I've been doing a lot more um, unthinking, like just um, putting things in straight away, not thinking about it too much, and I'm finding I'm getting a lot more achieved. In fact, I'm managing to do a page every single day now, um, and that's because I'm just like stopping overthinking everything um yeah so these two might not go together but i can move her because she's just on a clip yeah so i uh, stop overthinking and where am i going to put him maybe uh, 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 oh. maybe he would work on this tag oh yeah what does he look like when he's tucked in? Mmm, that looks cool. Well, that's cool. I like that. So I'm going to put that there. I'm not going to worry about not doing the edges because I'm pretty sure I won't put anything else on there except for maybe some words down the bottom. But and I want it super glued down under there actually. So that... I can slip it out of the in and out of that pocket without it without it catching. Excuse my sniffing. Mm -mm. Okay, that might need a bit more glue up the top but I'll just leave that edge just in case I want to put anything into it later and I can journal on the back I can put some words down there if I like and then he just looks beautiful right just like that cute now the other thing I um, did with them is when um, when I had the backing um, and I had the backing and, you know, I'd separated the pieces. I thought, well, what am I going to do with this? Because that is just a piece of rubbish. Um, but like I said, I, I did do, do some embossing without, um, and, but then of course you've got this issue, um, of the plasticky sort of coating. And if your adhesive works well, that's all good. But you can also just attach things, can't you? You can attach things with with a stapler. You don't have to um, you don't have to glue things. You can attach it with a stapler, or you could use your um, your cropper dial and attach it that way. Put a hole in it. Could even put a braid on it. Um, you, so you can attach things that way. They don't have to be glued. Remember that. One more idea to use with them when you've got some left over, don't throw those away because they're really great for just popping, uh, using as a backing for popping on a sticker like the Small Talk Tim Holtz Ideology um, stickers. I quite like these because when you can't be bothered thinking of anything to say yourself or you don't want to do any lettering, um, these just make a really quick um little thing so let's just find one that would maybe the black ones words make an actual um be fearless i think i've used that one lately but that's okay so i'm gonna pop that into the corner words at the moment i'm using a lot of words on everything all my pages seem to have words because i just feel like they need them at the moment but sometimes um you might you know you don't have to have words obviously but um they do add another element to the page 
and I'm finding them quite cool at the moment. Using my giant scissors when I don't need to. And there we go. That is a very cute little edge. So that little little embellishment there could go there. I think it just adds another little element to that tag and it's pretty cool and because the silver um, is like matte it's not like it just like suits that vintage style because it's not super shiny it's really cool love it okay so that's that's that one so I just have a couple more examples to show you of how I've used it um, already and I haven't put it in my journal yet but this is a border die um, and that came out of there, so that's the silver side again. And just to show you what it looks like against something. Oh, that looks pretty there. Mm. I think I might clip that in. Oh, don't have any clips to hand, but if I did, I would clip that into there because I think it looks good against that page. So maybe I will just poke that in the pocket <laughs> to save it. But anyway, that, that just looks beautiful to me on that page. So I'll pop that there because I'm going to use that there. Beautiful. And, um, and then I have made a scallop circle to pop under there. Um, and then, you know, that's another example there of what it, what you could do with it, with the other side, um, with some embossing folders, and that looks really cool. And then I thought, well, if you've got this and you don't you don't want to emboss and you want to do something different, what could you do? You could actually just use a thin die and um, and you know just die cut you showing the back the wrong side and that's perfectly all right too it just depends on your style and what you like to use um you might be using a, a super um junky journal with real junk and this is real junk isn't it so that would look cool and one more example oh this this here looks really cool where's my glue book so i can show you what it would look like on a border maybe here I think that looks alright. Once you add some more things, looks cool. Maybe not that page. Mm, not that page. That page looks good. Yeah. Yeah, but I won't do that right now. But that looks cute, doesn't it? That looks cute. Yeah. So there we go. That's one another one idea, and then they also look really cool as um, as numbers and letters. So I've cut out these numbers and letters from them, and I've left the backing on this one. I want it nice and thick. Um, very confident in the art. Good glitter glue, so that'll be good. Happy. So I hope you like that little idea, guys. Uh, put some comments in if you if you um, have any questions and as always please like and share this video if you got anything out of it at all um, I do really 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 appreciate your likes and really really appreciate and read every single comment because I'm still a little growing channel and it would be nice to think that I have something to offer you so that would let me know anyway bye guys see you next time